Coming up, we're about to solve all the bad things about mountain biking and cycling in general, thanks to this man. Let's do it. Dirt Shed Show. Yes, welcome to the Dirt Shed Show this week with Addy Dodster. Hello mate, how's it going? Nice to see you. Nice to be here mate. Yes, good. It's good to yeah. have you in the shed. Um, I've got a big challenge for you this week though, because we're going to solve all the bad things about cycling. Hmm. Thanks to your help. Okay, bad and we, things. And we have all the normal stuff as well, bike, vault and all those things that you really enjoy on the Dirt Shed Show. As regulars, we've got some amazing posts this week as well. Incredible. It blew my mind. So wait for that coming up. Um, of course there will be the news but let's start with trying to solve all the bad things in cycling right now what I mean by this is that obviously in cycling Doddy we all love it yeah we're into it for for all we get out of it and all that stuff but there are some downsides there okay, are some I'm, downsides. I'm interested to hear this yeah and I think with your uh, big technical brain you can help us My improve sugar brain. our cycling yeah. <laughs> sugar coated sugar coated yeah do you imagine your brain's a bit sugar coated it feels like it is oh sometimes dear. that's not a good sign that's not a good sign <laughs> right let's start off with one of the most obvious ones okay this is top of my list okay all right one of the things we hate about cycling um is the expense the expense it's so expensive doddy yeah all right. so expensive all right i'm gonna quote henry here devil's avocado um it doesn't have to be expensive yeah, Ooh. all right, the latest and the greatest and the really cool kit, yeah, it can be expensive. And the stuff that's the nicest and the most desirable often is. But it doesn't have to be. All you really need is a good helmet and a bike. Right, Any okay. bike. So if you're going to spend money, spend it on a helmet. Definitely spend it on a helmet. Yeah, you can't, you can't go wrong there. Yeah. But you're right, maybe you don't need to spend lots of money. I mean, I was looking at a bike online yesterday and it was six and a half thousand pounds. Oh, but aren't they the most desirable ones? <laughs> Doesn't mean you need it for a though. long time. Doesn't mean you need it, though, does it? No, you're right. No. You're right. And actually, no. it doesn't mean you can't enjoy looking at those bikes without, you know, you don't have to have that bike. So you can just when look I at was it. growing up, Mark, yeah, I was that kid that had the bike bodged together with loads of cable ties, sellotape, any old stuff to keep it going, yeah, and just got out there and rode. Yes, and some of my mates were a bit more fortunate and had mm. really good quality bikes. Mm. I wasn't quite there, so yeah, you don't was... need it. You just need the desire to ride. Yeah, I was a few years behind myself. Mm. I was on a rally burner when everyone was on mountain bikes. Yeah, but burners are cool though. Well, you know. <laughs> Best bikes right. on a block for skids. Yeah, right. I think we've solved that one. Yes, yeah. is a good start. Yeah. This is a good okay. start. Great. I can feel the sugar coming off your brain. Yeah. <laughs> right, people who need the newest and greatest of everything. Ah. Now, yeah. I know a couple of these. Do you know what this is called? This is called gear acquisition syndrome. Gas. I'll tell you, I've got, got really gas. bad gas. Yeah. I've got gas. Yeah, I've got really bad gas. <laughs> Do you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Like, yeah, but you're saying that because you are one of them. I'm not talking about like Blake style gas. I'm talking about like wanting the next thing. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I suffer from that really badly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's tricky, isn't it? Because I think I'm one of them too. Mm. And I, but it is, it's a problem because it's like a, it's like a fix, isn't it? You've it's got an to illness. Get the new stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but we said then, at the top of this, you don't need You don't it. need that stuff, yeah. But <sighs> you've got to also bear in mind that it's okay to want that stuff. Yeah. It's okay to desire it. It's okay to want to like search online and Instagram and stuff to find out what that latest new carbon crazy fork is. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. There's no problem with that. No. But it doesn't mean you have to have it. No, I mean, I but, guess but on the best things, the things that you want that you can't have. Yeah, we're just out there surfing the stuff, aren't we? Dude, surfing. I look at like camera stuff every day. I don't need anything. I thought you every had day bikes. I'm looking at a new lens. This is about bikes. This isn't a camera show. I know. I'm just saying that, that it extends outside of that. It's this guy. This guy. Right. Next up, I don't think we solved that one, and I don't think it, all the time. In this I don't place. think it can be solved. That one. No. 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 Maybe not. Well, no. There's some things that can solve gas. <laughs> 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 right, next up, proprietary tech. Proprietary uh, tech. Do you mean industry standards? Industry standards. Yeah. yeah. Now, you this know, is annoying. Yeah, this is really annoying yeah. for all of us. Yeah. Like, suddenly someone's come up with a, you know, what did you say earlier on? A 40 mil bar, just because. Yeah, because they can. So yeah. now you need a new stem. Yeah. Oh. It's okay because they make one. Yeah. It's fine. So you have to buy two things from them. It's really frustrating. Okay, so they're. they're Devil's Advocate, again, right, there's two mm. sides to this. A, our sport, the reason it's so cool to ride a mountain bike is mm. it's taken so much from inspiration from other sports and other industries and yes. made the best thing of all of them. Yeah. Because of that, we're constantly progressing. Mm. So we, you are ultimately getting a better thing, 
but it's really annoying if you haven't got that stuff and you're suddenly stuck in this world of standards like oh is my bike boost is it 26 is it 29 has it got a tapered head tube is it 1.5 it's a nightmare it's frustrating so, drives me mad can i tell you something that's really annoying from my point of view go on those guys over at gcn tech i know we shouldn't talk about road bikes here <laughs> but they've got a really cool series called like basically crap bike to pro bike and they go yes. and buy a really old bike and they do it up and i really want to do that except there's so many standards and industry standards and oh so on a manual you can't do it it's no. nearly impossible to do the same thing because nothing that you can buy second hand or new and that is yeah. compatible these days yeah it's really hard so yeah so an industry standard on a hundred pound bike the, a thousand pound bikes bits aren't just aren't going to fit on it nope no be nice That's... if you could like have industry standards like now just, just make them yeah draw a line in the sand and we or, can forget about them. What about at, two, at least two brands have got to say yes to an idea before something can move forward to something we would actually buy? That sounds fair. Like, you know, at least two brands. Maybe maybe more. Some discussion. That'd be good. Yeah, because it's frustrating. Yeah. It's hard one, for us. one brand can't make a standard. <laughs> no. Take note, boys. Yeah, that's a good girls, point. Uh, listen. Yeah. Um, right, next one up. Uh, I'm definitely guilty of this in last week's Dirt Shed show. Oh, yeah. Hating on other forms of cycling. Is there, is there anything worth hating on? <laughs> I just Unicycles like are a bit strange, but I don't hate them. They're kind I of fun, I, to be I mean, I, I hate on other forms of cycling. Uh, well, I only hate on gravel bikes, really. Ah, right. um, is that just because they're mountain bikes or drop handlebars? Just because there's a bit of a fuzz about gravel bikes at the moment, and I don't think they're a thing. I went through this last week. Let's not get into it. Well, there is a reason for it, isn't it? They got bored of road riding, so they're trying to reinvent it. It's, like, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Right. I like that. We've angle. been there and we've done it, and we've learned and we've moved on. <laughs> this guy speaks sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, hating on other forms of cycling yeah. is dumb, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, two wheels and a bars, it's all the same. I think we're quite alike. Hating mm. on anything isn't cool. No. I mean, I like doing it for fun, but it's only yeah. for fun. Yeah. Only for a laugh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and to be fair, Dan and Si did start it. Yeah, they did. And but I'm ending, it. <laughs> I'm ending it right now, because actually, they're pretty cool dudes. There you go. All they right. are. There they you are. go. Fair's right. fair. Okay, last up. This is our last point. And if, Doddy, if you can just help us with this a little bit, you'll have helped uh, everyone okay. a lot. All right. All right. It's the one thing that we all experience as riders, punctures and broken chains. <sighs> Come on, give us a tech fix for them two things. Not complete fix, obviously, but something we can do just to alleviate the pain of those two things. Um, the common all right, easy. cycling problem. Right, well, get rid of your inner tubes. Go and tubeless. Right. Granted, that can be expensive for some people to do it, but it does sort most punctures out. Okay, so there's one big on. tip. Uh, and also, it's better for the environment because you're not constantly having to mm. buy new inner tubes and stuff. So it's got to be got to be good in the long term. Uh, and as for chain, get yourself a chain checker. When your chain is worn out, they will break. Right. And in oh, the okay. process of checking your chain to see if it's worn, you inspect every link. You can see when a chain's starting to part. Right. And so you can key. predict that it could be a dangerous time to ride it because it might snap. So just keep your eye on it. I mean, at yeah. the same time though, we have seen a lot of pro riders snap brand new chains this year, which is just down to, oh, just so unlucky. Just luck. But why is this still happening? It's crazy. It's madness. And it? if you're really paranoid, get yourself an e-bike chain, because the pins are much bigger. And would they still work with a normal Dralia? They certainly do. Whoa! They might wear out quicker, but they're stronger. They're gonna so break. If you're a chain snapper, look at one of those. Two big tips right yeah. there that I think, and I think in general, Doddy, we just made cycling much better. 99.9% 9 .9 better, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah, nice one. Right, it's time for some news. Okay, on the news this week, I'm going to start with our sale on shop.gmbn.com. Yeah, if you go over to there, right now there's a sale on up to 50% off some of the stuff in our store, which is amazing. Now, check out some of these products that have got some discounts. I've been looking. Uh, we've got a GMBN can cooler. That's 50% off. Um, I've got one of those. Uh, we've got the GMBN retro t-shirts, one of my favourites. 25% off that. So head over to the shop. There's some amazing stuff that you can get at incredible prices and you'll be supporting our brand. And we would be very grateful for that. Right, what's up next on the news? Uh, we're looking at NS Carbon Bikes. That's right, NS have dipped into the carbon world. Um, this new bike is based on their popular Snab bike that has been EWS tested. Uh, a very good design and a suspension system that's highly 
rated. Um, but the new bike, the Define, is their carbon offering. It comes in 130mm travel or 150 and just by changing the suspension setup and the spring itself, you can actually swap the 130 into the 150 and vice versa, so pretty cool. It's got all of those little jig changes that you can move the geometry around on the bike like so many brands are using at the moment, so it makes it a bit of a jack of all trades in terms of setup. We do have some competition winners to announce today. It's for the Park Tools work stand, and if your name is on the screen now, you're a winner, congratulations. We'll be getting in touch via email, uh, the email that you used when you entered that contest. So well done to you guys, that's fantastic. I love giving stuff away, that's great. That is good news. Product news, a new flat shoe from Supless. Now check this out, um, not a brand I was familiar with. Uh, they started in 2007, Swiss brand. They do sponsor Pauline Ferran Prevost, so they've got some serious racing pedigree right there. They must know their stuff. They've got some really innovative designs in their product lineup, and now they're trying a flat shoe. And, of course, the sole is all important. Check this out. It's using the gripping Bear Paw 5, sole uh, made of sup traction rubber compound providing first class grip on the pedal and in the terrain sounds good doesn't it you can register your interest on their website right away um, it's a different approach to a flat shoe a bit more tech looking uh, coming from the racing heritage as I mentioned but it does look good so check it out Okay, I haven't been looking forward to doing this bit of the news. Um, it's with huge sadness that I'm reporting the passing of Michael Bonney. Um, Michael Bonney is a prominent figure in the UK mountain bike scene. He's worked for Orange Mountain Bikes for years and he's been in the sport for decades. Um, about six years ago, Michael suffered a spinal cord injury whilst out on a sportive ride and uh, was paralyzed from the neck down. He uh, needed assistance in breathing using a ventilator. And just last week, he, uh, he posted on social media a message that he had decided to end his life and he would be doing that by uh, taking that ventilator assistance away, um, which uh, has sadly meant that he passed away on Saturday with family and friends uh, by his side. Um, Michael will be sorely missed by many in the industry and cycling broadly. Um, and our thoughts here at GMBN go out to his wife, Lindsay, his family and his friends. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Michael's life and what a great man he was, then head over to Single Track World because there's a really lovely article all about him there, uh, written by people who knew him very well. So check that out if you've got time. Okay, so straight into quiz. Now Whoa. I've got a question for you for once, Mark. Oh, I never so. get to answer a question. No, this is Rick. a good one. I reckon it's going to stump you as well. No way. So, take a look at this picture on screen right now. Right? Peculiar right. pair of handlebars. What I want to know is, how do you get the handlebar grips on? And we're going to pick this up in a minute. Have a think. Don't tell us what it is now. And we're going to go straight into fails and bales. To watch this stuff these days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's some big crashes. Right, so I've got to work out how you get the what? handlebar grips. How'd you get them onto these handlebars? Well the bar the <sighs> How did you used to get your handlebar grips on? Well you just slide them on with a yeah. bit of WD40. Yeah, what's the problem with these bars? Well it doesn't look like the bar you can't go all the way around them bar ends. <laughs> Do you go around all the way around the bar? Yeah. Cause they're they're like really like stretchy it. grips. Okay then, well how would you get the controls on there? Ah. <laughs> ah, now your head doesn't work does it? 
All right, so I'm gonna freak you out because this is terrifying. It's the bar, it's the bar ends are the same no. size as bars and they've got plugs. And then it's the... No, no. These bars come apart in the middle. They slide together like patio furniture and they have a little shim that holds them together. <laughs> the one bit of the bar you want to be strong, they come apart at that piece. No! Yes. No, I'm not yes. riding. I'm it's a no insane. on that bike. Isn't that, is that the scariest pair of handlebars you've ever seen? Yes. Yeah, it's bonkers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely real. What, well. So it's a two-piece... A two-piece bar and they slide together under the stem. That is an awful idea. I tried to take them apart to get a better picture, but they were so old. Wow. They'd basically corroded in the middle. You can see there's a shim there. Yes. And they join in the middle and it's got one of those little ball bearings that goes Pink! just hold it in place. Oh no. I'm out. That is all levels of high can I book a dentist appointment, please. Oh my god. That's yeah, terrible, isn't it? That is crazy. Um great quiz question. And um oh my first quiz question and I didn't get it right. Now I know where I am with you. Damn. This is easy. Right, Doddy. It's time to keep the show moving. Okay. And I'm gonna need your singing voice. Because oh, it's yes. time for Hacks and Bodges! Hacks and Bodges! Hacks and Bodges! Hacks and Bodges! I've forgotten about that. That's great. That's amazing. That's great. I think we could somewhere, take it. somewhere Neil we is need... hating on us right yeah. now. Oh yeah. He no, can hear he us. He can probably sure. hear us and he's probably like <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's have a look at your hacks and bodges. Right, Hex and Bodges time, yep. Um, got this great GMBN, uh, this is called Fade? Yeah, that's, fade. One my, that's one of my favourites actually, that one. I really mm. like it, I really want it. I looked at this last week and I didn't get it then. It's not for you though, I'm gonna it? give it away now, Doddy. Yes. I'm gonna give it away okay. now. Okay, who are you so giving it to? Let's take a look at what we've got this week. Um, okay. We've got Tyler to start with, who's got this nice blue, what is it, it's like a mountain bike, road bike, hybrid, Franken bike, Kind of thing. a mixy type thing, yeah. Looks like it's got a long rigid fork drop bar. Yeah, it's got 105 oh. group set on it. So, so it's a road one group bike set. with road stuff, yeah. That's pretty pretty bodged together, I guess. Mm. It is pretty Franken bike. I kind of quite like it. That big long yeah. rigid fork is weird. Yeah, there's definitely room Tall. for a suspension fork in there. I tell you what, it ain't ugly. I like it. Yeah, it's quite nice. He's kind of coordinated. Nice. Yeah, yeah, looks smooth. Yeah. Yep. You're in the running, Tyler. Yeah, yeah, You're in nice. the running for the race top. All right, what's up next? Uh, next up, we're going to go to Theo's GT Chucker. Oh dear Lord. This is scary. What so Theo, is he was going to go out on his bike, noticed a crack in his fork on yeah. the crown, and decided to fix it with some string. You can't oh. help some people, can you? Mate, you should, you you should just ride it straight to A&E. That? That's awful. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> That's just crazy. Do yourself a favour, don't ride that bike. That's, That's a death trap. That's crazy. Uh, well, we, I'm going to say categorically, right? That's it, not a hack crazy. or a bodge. And I'm not giving you a race top. I'm no. not endorsing that idea. No, no, it's not a hack or a bodge. That's just madness. Like, straight Absolute straight to the madness. cemetery. Uh, but Theo, yeah. but thanks for sending yeah. it in. It's brave yeah. move. Brave move. Next up, we've got Nico's. Um, oh, what's it? It's a phone mount. What oh, do you think nice. of this? Yeah, a bit of upcycling. Upcycling, yeah, yeah that's exactly. Quite nice. Yeah, I like that. Bit of an E13 oh, cassette there, oh, very nice. I and do front like. Neck. Yes. I wonder where all the front necks went. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I that's do a good like, use of a front neck. It is cool, isn't it? Yeah. I like a bit of art. Everyone's got a few front necks lying around. That goes up against the Franken bike. I I'm, think. I'm so far. I'm leaning towards this. Yep. Yeah. Right. Really? What over the Franken bike? Wow. I am. Yeah. Based on the use of a front mech. I can feel the world is trembling. Gone, the world has gone one by. Yes. We've got, to, we've got to use them somehow. You're right. You're this right. could be the solution we've been looking for. Right. Okay. Um, and uh, this one, it's another Franken bike. Yes. <laughs> Wow, so the power of the V-brake and then the power of a 203mm rotor with a slick front tyre. Yeah, Ooh. this is Adrian's bike and you did say at the top of the show that you don't need to spend a lot of money on a bike to make it work uh, yeah. and Adrian has proved that point. Oh uh, yeah, awesome. So he said this is for his, basically his rat bike so he doesn't have to worry about his stumpy getting nicked. <laughs> but ironically he says it's so much fun going back to basics, I've even been riding it everywhere, all the local runs and the off-road favourites. Brilliant. There you go, that's the way to do it. That I, is cool, I, isn't it? I bet you're riding that more than your stumpy at the moment. Yeah. Been off the stumpy. Snatting this. We've got to pick a winner, Doddy. Oh, it's difficult. We've got to pick a winner. So. I'm kind of in favour of this, but using the front mech. Really? Was... What, really? Over the two Franken bikes? I think it's between the two Franken bikes. Okay, I'll set my pieces up to you then, Mark. This is on you. I'm going to go with Adrian. Mate. 
Adrian. Oh, Adrian. Yeah. All right. Because cool. he will look amazing wearing this race top back and forth to the shops to the on shops. that bike. And you, and you better send us a picture of you wearing this going back and forward yeah. to the shops. And yeah. to be fair, Tyler, it would have clashed. Shopping bags on the handlebars. That'd be Adrian, good. we'll be in touch. Now, if you would like to get into Hacks and Bodges and try and win yourself a race top, then uh, head over to our GMBN uploader. The link is there on the screen for you. It's down in the description down below. You've got no excuse. You can send us your Hack and Bodge, your Fails and Bales, your Bike Vault, anything you want. Um, pictures of you wearing our very own race jerseys, anything you'd like, but get involved with the show because we love to hear from you. Just make sure there's no pictures of string saving fork crowns, please. Madness. No, 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 no. Right, send of the week time, Doddy. Let's see what people have been getting up to in those moments where they just think, you know what, screw it, I'm going for it. Hit play. Let's have a go. Oh man, I'll tell you what, there's some really good ones in there. There's some wicked ones. What's your favourite? Oh, it's got to be a little eight-year-old Daniel. No oh, footers. No, no footer. one does no footers anymore. Yeah, I like bring that. them back, just like bring back the knack-knack. Um, I loved uh, another eight-year-old, Holly. Yeah. Oh, she was rad. Crazy transfer. Is that a transfer on the hip thing? Yeah. That was nuts. That was cool. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Um, Sends, maybe my favourite bit of yeah. the show. I love that. Thanks for sending those in. Keep right. them coming. Let's keep going. Caption contest time. Um, we are going to give the best uh, comment here from last week's show a water bowl. Cool. GMBM water bowl. Can we see the picture again? Just remind yeah, me. Look at this. Blake looking uh, pretty sci fi nuts. Yeah. 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 Quite yeah. fitting, really. It's a good one. Yeah. Um, right. First one is from Fernando, and he says, the elation on Blake's face when he hears that Mr. Ashton's coming back. Aww. That is right, actually. He was super pumped last that, week. To be honest, that actually was what it was like. We yeah. haven't hung out for ages. I know, it's been yeah, a while, hasn't it? It's nice to be back. That's good. Okay, okay. so um, Martin Dasniel says, um, when you've been on the same planet as Cy and Dan Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually pretty true. You're right? out of yeah. it. You're out Ooh, of it. Not making any sense. Two good contenders there. Yeah, like yeah. it. Um, last one, Ian Parry. Uh, Blake's been baking his special trail brownies again. Oh, I bet yes, yeah. Yeah, and we've got some more coming up on that yeah. next week, actually. Oh, really? Yes, oh, yes, we have. Nice. Um, oh, you're right. Doddy, you're going to give away a bottle. Go on. Uh, it's going to go to Martin, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah. straight to Martin. Yeah, just giving San and Dylan. Nice one. I haven't got one to throw at you, but there you go. There's an imaginary one. Yeah, nice It's one. coming your way. Right, this week's photo, we'd like a caption to this, please, in the comment section down below. Look at no. this. It's Steve Jones from EMBN holding a great big... Pine coney Pine thing. Pine Oh. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason. Let us know what you think about that one and see if you can win yourself a GMBM water bowl. I'm going to try and do this a bit like Blake. How's that? Coming up on our channel this week! <laughs> I think that's what he does. Is it? Coming up on our channel this week! You've completely thrown me out here. He says it weird. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to fit in. I'm trying to fit in. Okay. Coming up on the channel this week, um, got a great video. Yep. Uh, looking forward to this. How to create gaps on the trail. Oh, that is actually a really it's, useful video. It's yeah. really cool. Uh, and I tell you what, there's no way of making a trail more fun than finding those little moments. They're always there pop, as pop, well. Pop, you pop, think pop, you're on a bit yeah. of flat trail, there's always a couple of gaps. Absolutely. Yeah. So good vid coming up there. Yeah, I'm, uh, actually, something that's surprisingly good and surprisingly funny to watch is a 10 new mountain bike Mistakes. Mm, Mistakes yeah. video is always classic. <laughs> amazing. Right. It's amazing. a good one as well. They're amazing. Yeah, lots coming up on the channel this week, so don't miss out. Um, I do love getting a bit of post. We always leave the address yeah. if you want to actually send a physical thing to us in the description down below, and we've got some great ones this week, right? Starting off with this from the Arse Crew. From the Arse Crew? Yeah, man, I love it. People just send in stuff, Are they stickers, Chris whatever, Smith? and I will get them some promotion. Oh, good though, stickers. Look at this. Arse Crew. Amateur Sender Society. Arse Crew. Nice. Like it. Can I have one of those stickers? Mm, there's some here. Just a little one. Well, there's little... only one of those, and I'm going to put it on the jerry can. I'll have a little black one. Can I have some nice ones of oh, those. That's a wicked sticker. Look at that. Arse Crew. Look at that. Nice. Amateur Sender Society. Like, like anti heroes. It. Um, let's find out who they are. Yep. Um, 
Uh, we at the Amateur Sender Society would be honoured if you were to adorn the petrol can minibar with some of our stickers. I will do. Right. I'm going to put that one on there later today. We're a group of riders at all levels who love riding bikes and seeing each other progress. Check out the website for merch. They've got a website and merch. So Instagram is at Amateur Sender Society. Give that a follow. Um, if you go over there, you will find all of their pictures and action and obviously a link to their website so give them a give them a follow nice work guys and let's just send us the site like it like it and thank you very much for sending stuff in that is going on the jerry can in fact doddy you do it now you do right it now send it to oh, yeah because okay. then it's done all right let's get it on it's one of those things if you don't do it you forget you know yep. it's important where are we having it i reckon it needs some prime visibility let's go here right next to the sender sticker yes love it there we go looking good cool. Nice one, chat. Like it. Perfect. Thank you. Right. Well, right. I'm not sure if you're aware, but another bit of post came in today. Oh, I'm aware. It's quite, it's quite big. It's from Sean Wales, and it is my favourite bit of post so far. This is awesome. It's amazing. Right. Check this out. Yes. This, this is, is quite. Cool. This is quite unnecessarily big. Of a quite unnecessarily annoying person. It's not annoying. I was just being mean. Look, Look at that. that. Oh my god. That is actually amazing. That is incredible. Now this is really interesting actually because this is a great piece of artwork taken from a photo Doddy took actually. It is actually, yeah. Out in Whistler. Let me know where I should send the invoice, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was an amazing moment. I think you've got Ian MacArthur and yeah, you yeah. well. It was an amazing that moment. That is really we cool just, work. We'd just come off the down Blue Velvet and we were having an amazing day. Yeah. So that is a great memory right there. Um, Sean is obviously, as you can see, he's a professional artist. Yeah. He rides bikes himself um, and he's done some incredible artwork of Formula One drivers. He does pet, um, he, he does uh, uh, portraits of your pets if you want that. Um, it's got some great stuff. Uh, so head over to seanwales at gmail.com if you want to get a, a message to him to get your pet portrait done or seanwales.com where you can see all of his artwork including this fabulous bit of kit just here. God that's a handsome guy. Looks best with a mask on. Yeah when he's got his helmet on. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Love that it. That is mega. It's so cool. Um, yeah, if you've got some posts that can compete with that, um, well, then you'll be doing very well. But please send us anything you want us to give a little bit of a shout out to or a sticker you want us to put on the jerry can. Um, the address is in the description down below. That's sick. It is, it is so nice. Yeah. Yeah, time for the bifold. Come on! I haven't had one of these for ages. God, did you want a super nice? Oh yes, yes. Right. Oh, we'll run the super nice. First bell. one up, we have got Michael, um, and he is. God, that's a cool field. picture, isn't it? I recognise that. I don't know if this has been in before, but it's very cool. Look at that bit of artwork. That's rad, right, isn't it? Is that yeah. just a rock? Is that shape? I think it's that's a rock, crazy. and they just painted it on. Yeah. Looks amazing. It's very cool. Um, and more importantly, the bike's really cool. I really love that colour. It's that nice. Kind of like, it's definitely know. nice. It's more than that, Doddy, isn't it? Are you yeah. giving it a nice? You're straight. straight I'm straight. saying a nice, nice today. I'm saying nice. Oh, it's right, really nice. It's a nice bike. It's really nice. Um, next up, oh, trail dog. Trail dog. Trail dog. Yeah, it's super in. nice for Benjamin. Yeah. That was for Blake, who's not here. Yeah. yeah. Um, he has got his bike, Sierra. That's a weird name for a dog, because I just think Ford cars. Sierra. 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 I think um, of mountains, we say Sierra. Sierra, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so that is a fatty with, uh, is that suspended at the back there? Oh no, it's just, just rigid at the back. What do you think? Nice? It's nice. I mean, it's super nice. because. Oh, it's super there. nice, just on principle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just yeah. on principle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we've got Brandon's Giant oh. Trance. Lots of colour coordination going on there. In Lorden, Blue France. pedals, blue graphics on the fork and the grips as well. And the description is, new bike day. Oh, yeah, yeah everyone day. loves super nice day. Yeah, super nice new bike day, love it. Uh, next, oh, that's a nice well, shot. Hello, GMB and water bottle as well. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Yeah. Um, he's been to your photography yes. uh, master. Nice class. clear backdrop there, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Uh, that makes me want to ride my bike This now. is Jerome's bike, um, and he's in the Netherlands. Nice. What are you giving it, Doddy? Yeah, it's a super nice, isn't it? Go on, ring yeah. that bell. Ring that bell. Uh, next up, Baden's Giant Trance in Melbourne, oh, Australia. Do you know what? Giant Trances are really nice, and mm. those Tamil Maxis tyres are really nice. Yeah. I can't see enough of your bike, mate. No, no. If that was side-on, that 
probably would have been a super nice. Yeah, uh, nice. It's very nice. Um, it is fully up. sick. I agree with that. <laughs> fully sick. Uh, next one, we've got Justin's Trek Remedy in Bellevue Valley, Ontario. That looks rad. It's cool, actually. You don't often see like a, just a standard bike out in the snow. No, we get snow like once every 25 years in this country. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. It's nice. It's pretty nice. I, nice. I like it a lot. I just like how, you know, this... Been quite reserved with these super nice handouts. I think that's a super nice. Okay, super nice. Super nice, yeah. Um, next up. Whoa. Whoa. What is going on here? All this sorts of tech. <laughs> Anthony's 2015 Nuke Proof. I do not remember that Nuke Proof. I remember the bike and I also remember those Dorado upside down or inverted Manatee forks. They wow. are mega. Wow, well, I'm going to have to go with your steer on this one, Doddy, because I do not remember that bike. I uh, like it. It's a bit of a brute, isn't it? It is a brute. I kind of that that little can on top, may suggesting the motorcycle tank's quite fun. Yeah, kind of a bit moto enduro. It's nice. Type thing. It's nice. It's nice. Nice. It's nice. Well done, Anthony. Nice. Nice. Uh, over in California. Uh, right, we've got oh. Dennis's Revel Rascal. Very autumnal. Mm, it's nice. I like it. It is nice. It's in the Dutchess County, New York. Mm. Uh, Very cool. More than that? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Super nice. <laughs> right, and we've got. Oh, oh trail, trail dog. Sorry, dog, trail uh, dog. it went off. Sorry, it wasn't my fault. Cybers. It just uh, happened. Canyon gets the super nice. I hadn't even looked at the bike. Thank you to your little trail dog there. Um, but to be fair, the bike is super nice. Yeah, it is. And you lent it up so we can see it properly. Yeah. Uh, well done, trail uh, trail dog in there. Oh, look at that! That's almost camouflaged. That is sick. That is a rad shot. That is a Sarantis. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, that's the author. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah, uh, oh, Sarantis is yeah. the author, and it's a Spider Instinct in Vienna. I, I don't wow. know. I don't know the bike. No, I don't know the bike uh, either. But I'm loving it. I'm from Vienna. That's, That's really cool. It's so all super nice. That's a super nice on principle. Yeah, the world. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked All new to me, that one. Oh, um, oh, oh, oh. Harvey's Santa Cruz. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's dirty. <laughs> Whoa. Doddy's going to mix up. Okay, look, look, look at the front end. Oh, that's all clean and the back end's all dirty. Yeah, keep calm. Oh, keep yeah. calm. That's good. Go on, ring the bell. I know yeah, you're yeah, super nice. Oh! Yeah. And we're out of the bike we're vault, the bike on that. Oh, that's a good Banger. ratio. Bangers this week, guys. Good bike Keep them coming. Action. Yeah. Love that stuff. Nice. Right, thank you very much for watching the Dirt Shed show this week. Um, it's been amazing. It's been great to have Doddy back in the shed because we get him here. wicked to be here, mate. It's just not often enough that we get you in here. Yeah. Your technical abilities. You made mountain biking better for this week, so thank you very much. I made it less hateful. Less hateful. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you would like to stick with GMB and watch another video, then click just here. Got some great action for you. And of course, that there, that globe, that is so you can subscribe and you can get new videos every day of the week. It's amazing. Hit that little bell as well and you'll get a notification that kind of sounds a bit like that every time we post a video. Absolutely. Other than that, give us a thumbs up like and we will see you next week on the Dirt Wick Dirt Dirt Shed Show. What he said. TTFN. Dirt Shed Show.